So I know a lot of people struggle with the court cards. A really good way to get to grips with the court cards is to separate the court cards from your deck or to get a second deck and um, take court, 16 court cards out. I should point out these are my teaching cards. I do have my actual reading deck there, which is um, obviously smaller. But these are separated because I'm creating a lot of content um, for teaching court cards at the moment. And of course, you can't do predictions with court cards. But you can do a lot of reading with just the court cards. It's really helpful to ask, how should I best be? You could ask about a particular day, a particular week, a particular problem. How should I approach this situation? How should I be with my boss at work? How should I be with my partner? I'm going to ask, I'm a bit overwhelmed at the moment. I'm back from holiday and got quite a lot of deadlines that I've set myself but you know I'm going to ask how do I deal with this um, very very busy sort of 10 days that I'm in the middle of now what approach should I best take I still cut even when I'm only shuffling with the court cards the other time that I really will move into just working with the court cards is if I feel very stressed and very overwhelmed and I don't want to deal with the darker cards. It is never a good idea to remove the dark cards like the Tower and the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. But sometimes we've got a stalker card and we just don't want it there all the time. So if I feel that I'm getting hung up on the darker cards, and we, I, I do, we all do. OK, or if I really don't want to work with prediction, but I still want guidance, I will get a second deck, often the Druidcraft deck. I will take the 16 court cards out and for a week or two, I will focus mostly on reading for myself with the court cards. So how should I deal with the, um, the stressful sort of 10 days that I'm in the middle of? Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is very much about the Earth Mother, about the mother role. It is about nurturing. It is about um, physical nurture. I need to be careful about my diet. Uh, probably make sure I don't start drinking alcohol too soon in the evening. Probably make sure I'm not drinking coffee too late. All of those things. The Queen of Pentacles is also the mother, of course. And I think that is reminding me to prioritise spending quality time with my children and to not work through family time because it really brings me a lot of joy to spend time with my children. And I'm just going to do one more example, just trying to think. Um... Ooh, I'm trying to think about something I'm happy to share with online. Um, OK, um, I am taking my kids to the XL Comic Con in May in London. We go, um, we try and go twice a year. Um, it started off as something I did for them and it's becoming something I'm doing with them so what approach should i take with my children and myself at our weekend in london at the comic con how should i best be which psychology would best suit that trip the king of wands now you may have noticed that in relationship readings, I really don't like the King of Wands. He's edging off that seat. He doesn't want to be there. He wants to be the page of wands. He wants to be youthful. He wants to be fun. He wants to be in the moment. The King of Wands, I mean, I nickname him the visionary leader, um, unless he's in a relationship reading when I may have some swear words that I tend to associate with him. But in this situation, I think it's about not micromanaging. Queen of Pentacles would be, micro, be, be the nurturing. The King of Cups is going to be the people pleaser. The, he's still a king, so it's still my job to lead and be responsible for my children and make sure that everybody's got what they need. But as a leader, I always find that the King of Wands 
is um, expecting everybody else to step up and pull their weight too, because he doesn't really want to leave. Look at him. He's just trying to get off that bloody throne. He's looking out to the distance and he's shuffling off. So I think at this Comic Con, I should still be in charge. I'm still the, the mum, even though two of my kids are adults. But I don't think I should be micromanaging. And I should think I should be, um, once everyone's set up, once everyone's got what they want, then I think I should be going off at the Comic Con and having an amazing time myself. Now, obviously, I really love the court cards. I am very familiar with them and I've put a lot of effort into really getting to grips with them. Just remember, the more that you read with the court cards, the better you will understand them. And one thing I've really noticed that people do with the court cards is because they don't understand them. In a reading, they will jump over them. They will try to overlook them which of course just makes the problem worse. When we're trying to learn a skill, the quickest way to learn is to work out what you're weakest at and deal with it. So if court cards are your weak link when it comes to reading the tarot, take the court cards out and for a while <laughs> read just with them. Obviously you probably want a second complete deck as well, for sort of more general or specific questions but you might want to with your court cards you might want to do a reading a week you might want to say okay and the other thing is you can do two court cards so we are on um friday evening now um a new week really sort of starts for me on sunday when i'm back to work and i've got quite a busy week next week so this time I'm reading for the whole of next week and I'm going to pull two cards this time. I'm going to pull and I'm just shuffling because I'm making that clear in my mind. The first card will be advice. Next week, embrace this. And the card at the bottom of the pack will be a warning. Don't slip into this. So. Next week, <laughs> King of Wands, same again. Visionary leader, not micromanaging. I think this is definitely about my kids. They're very, when I set firm goals, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. They are really good at doing it. I also think this represents the fact that I'm moving more into teaching and content creation. And that really works for me because for the next week, I'm going to be focusing very much on creating content for my correspondence course if you're interested in that do head to my website and find out all about it so yeah not micromanaging stepping into this visionary leader manifesting the dreams that beautiful salamander here on the other court cards it is on their cloaks as it is on the king of wands but here we have an actual pencil driven um, drawn salamander to show that he has manifesting his dreams and to me that's also about reminding myself that i know that i can do this card at the bottom of the pack interesting king of swords i normally like it when i get the king of swords because it's about um people management uh sorry time management it's about time management and managing my time well but the King of Swords can get a little bit stern, a little bit authoritarian. It's not a side of me that comes out very often, but if I am very focused on work, I can get quite, um, I can have quite high expectations on what I expect my kids to do in particular. And I think this is reminding me to listen to them and to give them space to feed back to me what they need in my busy week rather than being too authoritarian and I think with two kings there as well maybe the message next week is to remember to lighten up and to ensure that I have some personal time to balance out the two kings because two kings of course are about managing other people and it can be hard, I think, particularly with a card you like, and I do like the King of Swords, 
it can be hard to connect to the negative meaning. So once you've done the reading for yourself, once you've read the card, then that is the time to go to a book or to my website and look it up. And so um, I've actually got my book because um, doesn't it does it sound weird to say it doesn't feel like I wrote it now? It's it's it feels distant from me. Um, so King of Swords. Uh, the positive is make sure you approach situations with honesty, clarity, and self-discipline, which is I think a little bit what the King of Wands was saying. And interestingly, as a negative, I've got or a warning. Sometimes it's okay to change your mind, so that maybe I need to allow some more flexibility in my week. And that definitely is something I tend to do. I tend to um, book in everything, including meals and family time. So perhaps that King of Swords is reminding me to have more flexibility. So if you want to really get to know these amazing, beautiful cards, each card is a unique psychology. Each card is a way that you can, an attitude that you can embrace or an attitude that can be warning you. Try it. Try journaling on this. Try reading. How should I best be and what do I need to avoid? Or just how do I approach this? And start to understand these psychologies, these individual people, the characters of the tarot deck. 